This is not to say, this is not to devalue our medical rituals. And uh, I would like to, to uh, elaborate on that to say that it's not just medical rituals, uh, but the entire corpus of technology can also be seen as an incredibly complicated, elaborate system of ritual that is based as ritual is, it's based on a religion. We call the religion science. Uh, and it can be used <coughs> to um, uh, mold reality. Now, we, we think though that, well, okay, in the past, they weren't actually very successful at molding reality. That's because they were mired in superstition and uh, projection and wishful thinking and, um, you know, uh, confirmation bias that made it look like they understood to themselves, but really they were pretty much helpless before the forces of nature and you really couldn't accomplish the kind of things that we can accomplish. Now, I'm not saying that, that they could accomplish everything that we can accomplish. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, our particular system of ritual that I, that I call technology um, can achieve miracles, can achieve wonders. Uh, it, is, it is, and what I'm saying is that our, our gift as human beings, our creative power as human beings is in fact to apply the technology, the deep technology of ritual. So it requires, as I was saying, a, uh, an underlying mythology, an underlying um, religion, and ours we call science. Now, again, you might protest, well, science isn't a religion because it's verifiable. It doesn't require faith. It doesn't require metaphysical, unverifiable, unprovable principles. But we perform experiments and we see whether or not uh, what our, uh, we, we see whether or not our propositions are in fact true. In fact, <clears throat> science does have metaphysical principles that we do take on faith. Um, for example, um, the, um, <clears throat> the idea that uh, variables can in principle be isolated, that you can remove, for example, the influence of the experimenter from the experiment, that the uh, mental, emotional, spiritual condition of the experimenter doesn't affect, or the beliefs of the experimenter don't affect the experiment, that uh, observer and observed can be separated, that things happen uh, if and only if they are caused to happen, that, um, that we can understand the world by reducing it to the operation of its parts. Like these are all elements of a scientific mythology that we, like, like the repeatability of experiments, like this, this is a, a metaphysical principle that may not be true, but we assume that it is true and we enter into that reality and we can gain the powers of that reality. <clears throat>